Woden was waiting for me on the steps of the old building. Mr. Payne, let's go inside. The others are anxious to begin. The others? Despite the general misconception, this building actually predates the city hall by two years, thus being the oldest municipal building still in use here at the foot of the Brooklyn Bridge. No kidding. The old man played tour guide as he led me through a dark, domed hall. The answers I was after loomed large ahead. Mr. Payne, I would like to introduce you to my colleagues in what we call the Inner Circle. You've been watching too much X-Files. You have seen the files on Project Valhalla. We can fill the gaps, provide you with the information missing from those files. We were all involved in the early stages of the project during the Gulf War. What's the catch? We would very much like to blow this thing wide open, but our hands are tied. Her name is Nicole Horn. She was the key figure in Project Valhalla. When the funding was discontinued, she simply refused to quit. She knew exactly what she had in her hands. Nicole Horn is the president of Acer Corporation. She has more than half the city in her pocket. This must be kept under wraps. If you try to go public with this, we will deny any knowledge. We need you to take her out. Afterwards, we can protect you. Make all the charges go away. That was the cue for the killer suits to kick in the doors and swarm inside. It was an impressive floor show, but I decided to leave early anyway. It was only a one-story fall. Lucky me. One of the monitors showed what was left of the inner circle. On screen, the so-called corpse of Alfred Woden stood up, miraculously waking from his dirt nap, looking smug among his dead pals. In the land of the blind, the one-eyed man is king. I didn't know how he'd pulled it off, but it was a pretty slick way to get out of all his promises. Most of what he had said fit too well to be a load of crap.
What is your answer to those saying that he's actually providing a service long overdue to the city? This crusade nonsense has gone too far. He's out of control. It must stop. He will be stopped. That was Deputy Chief Jim Rivera from the New York City Police Department. videotape lay on the desk. Nicole Horn had blackmailed the inner circle into silence. The tape came with a curt extortion note on a piece of expensive paper. I remembered Candy Dawn taping her clients in action on the side, selling the tapes to the highest bidder. I was sure that kinky sex was nowhere near Alfred Woden's worst sin. But I had a feeling that when this was over, any collateral would come in handy. Nothing seems to stop Acer Corporation's phenomenal victory march. Incredibly, the stocks are still rocketing. Worried experts already see a danger in the company's success. Some have gone as far as to say that Acer Corporation is about to become an even bigger monopoly than Microsoft ever was. Woden had left me a present. Woden had taken care of my mission preps with military precision. The critical areas in the Acer Corporation headquarters blueprints were circled in red. The president's office was at the top of the building, right below her penthouse suite. The elevators were controlled by a security computer, part of the mainframe located underground below the building. The high-rise was sealed as tight as a sci-fi fortress.
be Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. A hero's end. Go going out with guns blazing. Never heard of it. No? Okay, newer stuff then. The usual suspects. Where Spacey walks out of the police station and suddenly loses his limb. Or oh, hey, seven. Where Brad Pitt gets to that head-sized blood-soaked cardboard box. Now I know. Freaking zombie demons from outer space. Drowning in blood was cool. Never heard of it. No.